Grade 12 physics, note number three, energy and momentum. Conservation of energy. We're going to review some conservation of energy here, similar to what we did in a previous note, but also we're going to actually do a new conservation of energy problem that will involve springs. So here we're going to be using E equals E prime to show that energy is conserved in our problem, or E minus or plus work equals E prime to show that work is added or subtracted from the system. Our first example here, we're going to take a roller coaster. So let's say a roller coaster is 70 meters high. Um, when one of the carts goes over the top, it starts out at 3 meters per second. It goes down that big hill. And we're going to, using energy analysis, we're going to try and calculate the speed at the bottom of the hill. So let's draw a picture here to organize our thinking. The hill here is 70 meters. That cart's going over with 3 meters per second. We're going to calculate that velocity at the bottom. So E equals E prime. At the top, all we have is gravitational potential and kinetic. And at the bottom, we're only going to have kinetic because our height will be zero. Masses will cancel. Now we can sub in our numbers and solve for our V prime. And here we get 37.2 meters per second for our speed at the bottom of the hill. In our second example, we're going to modify that first example, but we're going to use the same situation. But let's say 2.3 times 10 to the 4 joules of energy is lost as that car goes down that ramp. So it could be lost due to friction on the ramp, or it could be lost due to wind resistance. Let's factor that into our calculation and find our new speed. Here we should expect if we're losing energy, our value, our final answer value should be less than what we got in A. Hopefully we get an answer less than 37.2 meters per second. So there's our diagram to organize our thinking. This is the formula we're going to use because we're losing a little bit of energy. We need to minus work. So again, gravitational potential and kinetic at the top and we're only going to have kinetic at the bottom. Putting in our numbers, a mass of two, 260. We also subtract the work done. And finally here we can solve for our V prime. When you punch that into your calculator, we get a value of 34.7 meters per second, which is less than that first example. Let's do another example here, now with some springs. Let's say we have a pickup truck and we go and pick up some rocks in a construction yard or a quarry. The rocks are going to be picked up and moved over top of the truck by a crane and then they'll be let go from a distance of 6.5 meters above the box of the truck. So when the rocks are dropped, they're going to hit the back of the pickup truck and it's going to compress the springs overneath of the wheels, or sorry, over top of the wheels. We're going to try and calculate the K value of those springs. So let's start a diagram to see what's happening here. So there's our pickup truck. Here's the bundle of rocks that's going to be dropped from a height of 6.5 meters. The rocks are going to have a mass of 450 kilograms. When they hit the truck and push the truck down, it's going to compress to 0.6 meters. We need to make a note though it's convenient when we're solving problems with energy that the lowest point in our problem should be taken as a zero meters for height. So this means those rocks are going to start out at a total height of 6.5 plus 0.6 meters if we consider that bottom position to be um, our zero height for the problem. So conservation of energy, we have gravitational potential to start and only spring energy to finish. We put in our values and try and calculate K after it's all said and done, we find that K has a value of 1.74 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter.